What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Grown. Today I've got the MJX Bug 7 and this is a pretty interesting GPS drone. Now it's a drone with a 4K camera, has GPS like I said, return to home, follow me, orbit, all of those things apply. But here's the thing that's super interesting about this drone. It's 245 grams. That's right. So like the DJI Mavic Mini, you don't have to register this with the FAA. Now MGX would love for you to believe that this can compete with the $400 Mavic Mini. This drone checking in about $150 isn't in the same class as the DJI Mavic Mini. Now that doesn't mean it's a bad drone. This thing is awesome. This is an excellent drone for beginners and I'm going to tell you why. Stay tuned. All right, so this MJX Bugs 7 is pretty fun to fly, actually. Uh, I've really kind of enjoyed flying this. It's been a while since I've had something this small and nimble that wasn't a racer. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for something fun, check that box off. Now, it has a 4K camera. Now, let's talk about the 4K camera. Yes, it's real. It's a 4K camera, but you'll see there's no gimbal. Right? There's no stabilization. It does not stabilize electronically either. So any shake or movement you see uh, the drone do, you're going to see in that camera. Filming in 4K with this drone is really not all that it's cracked up to be. 4K shoots at 16 or 17 frames per second, and that's just not fast enough to get smooth footage. It's going to look jittery. It also has a 2.5K mode, and that's its default that shoots at 25 frames per second, and that is going to be a whole lot better. Not necessarily good, because you're still gonna see shakes. Now, sure, you could probably smooth some of those shakes out in post-processing, but really, if you're looking to get good, smooth video footage, this is not the drone for you. You probably want something like this, right? The Mavic Mini, and like I said, that's $400. This Beast Pro is another decent option. Really, this one's about the same price. It has a two-axis gimbal, um, and it's going to be better in terms of stabilization, but it still cannot compete with the DJI Mavic Mini. So if you're buying the Bug 7, you're buying this drone because you want something fun to fly, and you want something that's under the 250-gram threshold. Since this is 245 grams, you do not have to register this with the FAA, and that's a big deal in the U.S., and also in other countries that have similar restrictions. So right off the bat, that's a pretty big win. Now the Bug 7 has a range of about 300 meters. Um, you know, you could probably go a little bit farther, they say up to 500 meters, but that's gonna kinda depend on your cell phone and the quality of that signal, um, because the image transmission that you're getting comes via Wi-Fi. You don't connect the drone to the internet, you connect the Wi-Fi signal from the drone to your smartphone. And it's gonna have to be a newer smartphone with the AC protocol in order for that to work. They advertise a flight time of about 15 minutes. In my testing, I got about 12. You can push it a little bit further, but I really don't suggest you do. It does have return to home and that does work quite well. I tested the orbit feature um, and it's pretty simple. You get it up in the air, you push a button and it goes in a circle. You know, you kind of manipulate where you want the camera pointing on the ground because you gotta do it like this. There's no way to do it from the remote control. And then you get it up in the air. The follow me feature works well enough. It's not an optical follow where you're tracking a specific object, but rather it's following the remote, right? You have your phone connected to this remote and it's following the GPS on that. Um, and it works both forward and backward. I tested it both ways but it's not necessarily gonna keep you in the middle of the frame. So, you know, it's fun, it's a neat little trick, but it's not gonna be like, I don't know, say a DJI Mavic. Overall, I really like this. It's a blast to fly. I found it actually to be a little bit too fast in slow mode for smooth footage, but again, that's not why you're buying this thing. In fast mode, it hits 20 miles an hour, which is pretty zippy for something like this. I would recommend this for a beginner, somebody that's looking for a small lightweight drone that won't break the bank. You kind of want to get into flying, but you don't want to spend uh, the money on a Mavic. You're not ready for that sort of commitment. You want to test it out. This is a decent test case. And then if you decide, you know what, I want to get into photography, then you can take the next step. But this is a good 
you know, lower cost investment. And you won't have to worry quite as much about crashing and destroying this thing as you would had you spent $1,000 on a beginner drone. All right, so let's take a look at some of the footage coming out of this drone. All right, just another short video. I just want to show you that you got to manipulate the camera so you don't get props in the shot. This is 2.5K video, which is definitely the video setting you want on this drone. Now let's take a look at some pictures. I do like the camera on this for pictures. This is a 2.5K picture. This is that same picture in 4K. Now the pictures are pretty good either way. Hard to notice much of a difference. Again, another 4K photo. Um, except when you crop in. So I took this picture here in both 2.5K and 4K, and then I zoomed in uh, quite a bit, and you can kind of tell the difference. Uh, I do like the 4K photo a little bit more. There's less pixelization. Um, maybe it just looks a tiny bit better. So for photos, stick with 4K. For video, stick with 2.5K. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, hey, thumb it down. I need to know that too. And if you're looking for more information on drones in general, make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com where we've got plenty of information from photography to FPV. Hey, good luck and happy flying.